Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, so one thing I've been really curious about with this XW Pro is whether or not it can charge my car. I have a 2020 Chevy Bolt and I've been hearing that uh, it's a little bit more difficult to charge than some other cars. Uh, there's one guy specifically that has some older trace inverters and uh, he was able to charge, I think it was a Nissan Leaf, but his Bolt just would not charge off of that sine wave. Um, so I've been really curious whether or not my XW can do it. So let's go see. So there's a lot of other stuff going on in the house right now. Uh, it looks like we're doing about uh, 1.7 kW. Uh, I think the water heater's running, but we're pretty good state of charge, 61 volts. Um, so let's go see if the car will charge. All right, so I have a level one over here and over here, I got a level two. So let's see what happens. Hey. It's charging and it looks like we're up to 2.7 kW. We were down to about 1 point, 1.5. So it's 12, 12 to 1300 Watts, which is about right for level one. All right. So the one I'm really excited about is the level two charger. Hey, look at that. It works. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm charging off, uh, off my battery. Um, we have a little bit of sun left this afternoon, but not too much. Um, let's go see what the inverter's doing now. Okay, so it looks like we're at 5.5 kW. I believe the water heater's going as well. Um, battery's at 60.4 volts. Ooh, something else just kicked on. I am cooking dinner too, so 6.0. 6.4 kW now. So yeah, exciting. It can do it. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I know it was a short one, but I'm really excited that the XW can charge my car. Uh, so don't forget to uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, check out my other videos on the XW Pro, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.